Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Quick. Today we're going to talk about something that my buddy Chuck Morris had mentioned to me actually just today while I was driving back home from hunting. But I just got done pig hunting. I was out there uh, and uh, when I was coming back, he was talking to me about something, uh, kind of a modification on the cold bore shot. What he had said is he was talking, or on the cold shot, he called it a cold bore shot. He's been practicing regularly here lately. What it is, is it's like your cold shot. Your first shot when you shoot, that very first shot you're going to take is always the one it, It's the one that matters. Because when you're on the stand, it's the first one you're going to take. Um, when you're shooting animals, first one you're going to take. So that's what matters. But his variation of that is two parts. One, you do it in your hunting gear, okay, exactly how you would be hunting. And two, is that you're going to... Um, you're going to live with the results. So you're going to not shoot anymore during that session. Now you can shoot later on in the day. He usually does his, his cold bore, as he calls it, shot in the morning. And then he'll go to work and he'll live with that and think about that shot all day, good or bad. And then that evening, he'll do his practice sessions and stuff like that in the evenings. But in the morning, that cold shot, whatever happened, is what he has to live with. And uh, we're going to do that. I just got back from hunting, but yesterday, I was hunting yesterday, I had a shot that I passed. It's on video that you guys will see it in if you're my Patreon channel, because that's where I am post those hunting videos at. But... Um, I had a hog there at 12 yards. I got him. I had him on camera here and my other camera and had him come in and I, I kind of half drew and I went, nah, I'm waiting because I'm like, he's going to hit that opening and give me like an eight or 10 yard shot in the open, not moving. And I let him pass through there. And I, then he ended up smelling me and he took off out of there. So I never got to shot at him, but um, I want to recreate that shot. I figured it's a perfect example. I was wearing exactly where we are now at a different t-shirt, same, same exact material, same shirt, different color. Um, but I want to, you know, my binoculars, I had this on my head running right here on that kind of an angle running forward. So it was there. So I want to recreate that cold shot. Now I was at about 12 yards there here. I'm actually about 15 yards from that target right now, 15 or 16, but that's okay. Put a little element into there, but I'm going to shoot it the same way I was in that scenario. And it is a pure cold shot because I haven't shot. We got a couple things working against us. One is it's been a week since I shot it all. Two, I don't shoot this bow very often. This one's one that I had down here, one of my classics. But when I got down here, I threw an old quiver on it, put this together, made sure the brace height and everything was good. I came out here, I shot 10 arrows in that target. I was real happy with the results. And then I've been hunting with it a couple of days here. So, But because I did not have a judo with me in here, I don't have one glued up yet, I, and I've been so busy, I just threw a field tip on it to hold my tab in my quiver um, and uh, sharpened some heads up, and I was out hunting. So, but we are going to do that cold bore shot, as Chuck Morris calls it, which is again going with your full gear. I even have the snake boots on everything. I just came in from the woods, but this is your all of the stuff that could interfere with that scenario. We're going to do it that way. And then when I shoot the shots, I'm going to live with the results until I get to Michigan here. So uh, it is going to be what it is. And now the other thing is that shot would have happened pretty quick. So because I want to kind of duplicate that because I'm curious, uh, I'm going to shoot it just a little bit faster. Not snap shoot, not fast, but I got to get ready to make it happen pretty fast. Probably under a second or two type scenario once I get in there. Um, but I'm curious as to what would happen. I'm going to get in the same position, but this cold bore shot is basically you practicing and simulating something hunting related. Not just walking out to your range, perfect lineup, just like you would, get everything all ready, and then boom, and let it go. None of that. No, no, no. This is do it right. Get in position, get in your hunting mode, get from your tree stand, whatever it is, but make it an actual realistic hunting type scenario kind of shot. So that's what we want to do. So here we are. We got that right there. We're going to get right in exactly how I was. I was just like this. This is exactly how I was when that pig was right there and he came by. So let's see what's going to happen. Camera's on. I got all this stuff here. Let's see what would have happened. Ready? Here he comes. Okay. And I was low. I'd have shanked that. Now I got to live with those results. I wouldn't have been there. I'm, I'm a little low. Now, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm low. That's not where I wanted to hit. It's not what I wanted to happen. Shot felt weird. Everything about it was wrong. I even hit my arm just a little bit. Nothing, nothing was good in that scenario. But I now have to live with those results. Now, I could go back down there and grab that arrow. And if I do, and I take this, and I go grab it.
Now I have to accept what happened there. I have to live with those results. That's what's going to be there. But now just for the purpose of video, if I, you can even see, you can put a mark on my arrow right there. Yeah, like I said, I screwed that up completely, everything about it. Now, if I were to take it and do it again in a little more controlled, like we do here when we're on the range, it's a big difference. See what I mean? I mean, that's, you know, look at that. That gets perfect 12 ring right there. Cold shot matters. Now that I can't accept, I can't live with that. I have to live with what happened first. That first shot, that first result, that's what does it. That's that cold bore shot. What he came up with is a brilliant idea, brilliant concept. Now he doesn't always put on all the gear, okay, uh, and be how he would when he's hunting. He does it regularly, but not all the time. But the point is to get out and practice that cold bore shot and not shoot anymore to live with those results to think about that all day so that next time after you do that a couple of days and you realize the good or the bad is coming out of it you're going to really start to make that first shot really count a lot more start putting a lot more energy and effort into it and he even had another good idea he's like i'm going to start here in a few pretty soon putting a little skin in the game Meaning that if I, I do that cold bore shot and it doesn't go good, I can't have something I want for lunch. I have to get something I don't want or I have to eat something that I don't like or uh, I can't do this today or so, whatever the case is. But he's putting a little pressure on himself with some skin in the game. And it's a brilliant concept. And like I said, Chuck did a good job. The idea is solid and it just takes that twist to a whole nother level. So that is practicing that cold bore as he calls it that cold bore shot just like the first shot out of a rifle it's it's you know the cold shot but taken to a whole nother level and uh, i like the concept as you saw it just failed for me but see i mean it's a perfect shot in there right now it's right in the 12 ring doesn't matter it was that first shot that was the one that mattered that first shot was horrible it was all cattywampus i was out of control i was nervous the camera's rolling i got to deal with the camera the fact that i'm trying to recreate that i know i'm gonna have to shoot fast it's the first time i shot in over a week you know and it's shooting all there's so many variables here that that's what went wrong but when i can you know and, and many of us do that, but we get to redo it oh, like this, and we get to make that perfect shot that's on our terms, okay? On our terms and our conditions. Uh-uh. Let that cold bore shot teach you what the reality of hunting is like and then live with the results. So it uh, goes to show you, I think the concept is rock solid. I will be incorporating it too. I hope you do also, and uh, good luck. Happy hunting.